What's going on, guys? I came across this video that I found to be extremely interesting. If you didn't know, Tom McDonald is still beefing with Mac Lethal. They had a beef, like, what was it five years ago, damn there? Mac Lethal went out bad and sad, and Tom McDonald rise to even more fame. I think a lot of people that was fans of Mac Lethal jumped ship and went over to Tom McDonald. And then Tom McDonald just kept continuing to just throw subliminals nonstop. And Mac Lethal finally responded. But Tom McDonald fans don't believe he should be allowed to defend himself. It's five years ago. You just not responding. So Tom could keep taking shots at him nonstop and he can't respond. Whatever. That's not even the interesting part about this. What's even more interesting is the fact that a lot of people try to put the stigma of he's just a trouble starter on me. That's what I like to do is start drama. I like to instigate beef between rappers. And then I came across this video from Knox Hill, who is literally going to admit to instigating beef between rappers. As in, I know both of them. I got a DM and I told Mac Lethal, you got to diss Tom McDonald. I told him to. Is he going to get the same amount of backlash or hate as I do? No, because people are bogus. They're full of crap and they don't stand on nothing. They just wanted an excuse to hate me. I never started no beef. Me speaking about problems or issues between rappers doesn't instigate anything. Someone actually instigating and telling another rapper, you have to respond. Yeah, he is talking about you. That's instigating. And Knox Hill is not going to receive any criticism from anyone besides me. Or maybe somebody that copies me. Who knows? Well, let's check it out, man. Let's see. Let's see. We're not going to listen to the whole reaction. I just want to hear this one part where he's going to make a lot of... A lot of things is public. Track sign. Normally I would have paid this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. These reaction channels be letting it go. <laughs> At least when I react like this, I know I'm not going to upload it. Because I know that's about to get copyrighted. Uh, Last time I took right. the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. Interesting. Interesting. Because I got some dots I got to connect now. So you talk about backstories, right? And DMs on Instagram. So I got a DM weeks ago from Lethal. Now, you guys know I had Lethal on my One World Cypher. I put on a bunch of artists for that Cypher. Obviously, this I've done a lot of Tom McDonald reactions. I've talked to Tom before. I've talked to Mac Lethal before. I have no problems with either of them. As far as they're concerned, I'm cool with them. Right? So this is an interesting situation. That's the first that Yo, man, man, if people, the only people that have been trying to trash me and destroy me, slander me, like do a lot, all of it because they mad, because they believe that I'm just starting trouble. If they don't give this man the same energy, we know that they just want an excuse to not like me. We, this thing is admitting to having contact with these people and talking crap and getting into this song, people. I, I don't do that. I don't hit up no rappers. Yo, so so diss you. You gotta nah. <laughs> nah, that don't happen, right? At all. Nope. But for Knox Hill, that that's the thing. He can actually like literally instigate a whole beef and no one's going to say nothing. He's going to get rewarded for it, actually. It's be in. But what I will say is that Lethal reached out to me about Tom on God mode. And he's like, did Tom diss me on God mode? And then I did my breakdown and I talked about it. And it's like, yeah, he definitely referenced you. Like he talked about ending your career and making you get a divorce. That's why he doesn't battle anymore. Now, even though Tom didn't use Lethal's name, it's very obvious that he was talking about Mac. And I think I said something along the lines of like, you, it leaves the room for you to set the record straight if you so choose to set the record straight. Now, whether that's doing a video and just going, hey, like, this is a lie. I don't know why this guy said this about me. Like, Crazy. I'm doing well. Actually telling this nigga to go and make a video or do a diss song setting the record straight is crazy, bro. It's what happened. To, oh, you're toxic. The reaction community don't do nothing like that. 
No, because you do worse. I can't talk about two rappers beefing without people trying to blame me for everything. Like I got control over grown men because I spoke about it publicly on my YouTube channel. This nigga is behind the scenes setting up bullshit, then reacting to it and capitalizing off of it. How many views this video got? Sixty nine thousand. That's a whole lot of money, guys. It's almost as if he instigated a beef knowing that it was going to have monetary gain for him. But I'm evil. Yeah. yeah. Remember, guys, I always say this. They will paint the side of truth as the villains so they could do their disgusting, nasty behavior in public right in front of your face. Well, I'm not divorced because that's what he said to me. Like, he's still happily married. He's selling out shows. He's still doing well in his career. He's flipping property. So that's true. He said that in his raps. Or it could be like a simple tweet. It could be like, just do a track, drop a couple bars about it. But what's really interesting to me is that I'm sat here looking at a seven minute 30. What's interesting to me is the fact that he told you that Tom McDonald lied and you never spoke about it until now. So he let you know that Tom McDonald made that up and was lying about him and you didn't want to bring that up? You don't want to mention that at all? So now, so it was convenient? To the fruits of your labor of instigating behind the scenes actually came out? Diss track. You talk about taking that and going all in and pushing the nuke button. It looks like that's where we're going with this. And then obviously look at the visual representation. You got Tom's head on a spike in the Canadian flag like you're at war and you take your enemy's head, you behead them to make a statement with it and you put it on a spear, you put it on a pike. And in this case, the Canadian flag versus where Tom lives now and who he speaks for in terms of the American side. There's some thoughts and what's going into it. But one other layer I want to put on that Tom unfollowed me. That is pretty interesting to me that they actually had a conversation. They settled it. They were cool because then on God mode, I mean, it's not like an all out diss on lethal, but it's definitely a little sideswipe. You know, I mean, we've, listen, when you fucking say something like I made you get a divorce, like I ended your career. Of course, we, we're rappers. We have pride at the end of the day. This is a competitive contact sport. Somebody says that to you, you're gonna be like, well, fuck you. I'm gonna prove you wrong. So it was definitely a side. I could have just let it be known. In fact, the reaction community that's over there nut hugging Tom McDonald. I mean, you guys could let it be known that Tom McDonald's a filthy liar. No, because it's not profitable for you. Okay. I'm gonna stay over here with the honest people. I'll stay over here with the honest people. Why are you over there with the fakes? This dude is such a fake. All these dudes, all these dudes, Knox Hill, Cliff Beats, Floyd, they all fakes, fam. That's right, but it's interesting if they're on good terms and if they actually talk that Tom decided to then drop those lines about lethal and God mode, because did God mode actually need it? No, not necessarily. I mean, he was trying to address up church and why he's not dissing up church, but there's plenty of ways to do it without having to reference lethal in that way. So that's interesting. Anyways, let's keep it going. See where we go. And we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with- We ain't gonna play the rest of it. We ain't gonna play the rest of it. I just wanted that to be seen, right? I wanted that to be seen. Because that's, that's nuts. That you could just sit there and just- admit to instigating like that and no one's gonna say it no one's gonna question it his fans is just gonna hate it and then those same fans are gonna run to my channel and blame me for all drama and beef within any rap community i don't that's nuts it's i'm telling you it's all bullshit that's why i don't take nothing these people be saying seriously at all i do what i want i say what i want i do my videos and i move on bro fake it's all fake i'm telling you people are not gonna call that out at all no i mean wanna be loser channels bx beast boy he instigates too much blah, blah, blah. people i've never even heard of nigga and i will probably still never know their name crying like little bitches like little biatches 
this dude though, the, the person with the subscribers and more notoriety, he can admit to doing worse than me just giving an opinion and then mums the word. They ain't see nothing, they ain't hear nothing, they don't say nothing. It's because they soft. I want to say a different word, but they they soft. That's all that is. Tell me what you guys' opinion is down in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what you're saying in the comment section.